All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, I don't know. I kind of need to keep this a little short because, but I mean, there is some ground to cover. But I just have so much on my mind right now because, well, aside from the fact that everything's just going down for whatever the hell reason, uh, I actually bought the game design course uh, yesterday. Actually, it was very expensive, um, but definitely worth it because. Oh, I'm only up to like the third video of the whole thing, not including the intro video. And already I can see, like, yeah, this is completely different. And it's pretty funny, too, because, like, he uses examples from, like, World of Warcraft, and he actually used the encounters that I remember doing. <laughs> Especially the Shade of Iran. I remember that from, it was, like, from Karazhan. It's like, you don't have to worry about it, but this guy really knows his stuff. You know, he really knows his stuff. And not surprisingly, um,. Because he was so good at it, Blizzard eventually fired him because, you know, Blizzard is all about making money instead of, you know, respecting the game designers, respecting the player. So, that's just how it goes. So, anyway, uh, you know, I'm a little, uh, so I finally got a little bit over, like, the shitty crypto prices. Um, so, we should probably take everything into perspective, but let's take a look first. All right, so stock market's equity is just completely dying. Like it, it's all just crashing, especially the Nasdaq, which is obviously having an extremely negative effect on Riot. Even if you're interested in getting Riot or even Riot calls, I pro I'm I actually just asked myself if I had more money, would I buy Riot calls right now? The answer would actually be no, because right now just tech stocks growth, which are growth stocks, everything is just getting killed, and it doesn't make sense because the dollar is down. Um, 10 year yields are going up like they should, but not by much because the dollar gets weaker, 10 year yield goes up. And what's interesting is crude oil has just come back up. So usually that means the markets eventually come back up, but they're not. So something's, something's going on. Um, US home prices surged the most on record in buying frenzy. That's actually a lie, but prices are higher because of hyperinflation by the Federal Reserve. Uh, so that's really what's weighing on it. But the problem with inflation is this. You can't see it on my thing, but there is a SPDR ETF called SPIP. This is actually tracks the Treasury Inflation Protected Securities, or TIPS, that you can buy from the U.S. government. Basically, these are supposed to go up when inflation is going up. This thing's actually down today. So, basically, what I'm seeing all across the board is a lot of fear, a lot of noise, and it's very annoying. It's very annoying, because basically everything's just going down. Yet the dollar's going down. So where the hell's all the money going? Like, none of this makes sense. Um, but the thing that I'm looking at is this. U.S. job openings raised to record. I actually looked at it uh, right before I turned on the uh, stream slash recording this video. So uh, they're basically saying there's like, what was the number? Uh, 8.1 million job openings or something like that on the last day of March since December 2000, but nobody's filling the jobs, quote-unquote. I don't know. I think that's fake and propaganda, but <clears throat> let me see. Maybe Yahoo might actually say what's on people's minds. Uh, yeah, they're still doing sector rotation. I, I hate that term so much, but clearly it actually is a real thing. Even Gregory Manorino here talks about it. Um... <clears throat> That could be impacted by rising inflation during the recovery out of the pandemic. That's the thing, too. Like, if it's inflation, everything should be going up in price. Which should mean the stock should be going up in price. <clears throat> okay, according to Bank of America, mentions of inflation have increased nearly 800%. Okay. This is mentions of inflation. All point to a continued rotation into value. So that probably means Bank of America stock, even with Exxon Mobil stock, would probably be fine. But accelerate growth, like this would actually have a pro this would actually have a negative impact on crypto because they basically act like a tech stock. But that doesn't make sense because again, you know what what is inflation? Prices go up. Well, if prices are going up, then assets and securities should be going up, right? Because why isn't real estate going down? Instead, its prices are going up. 
Uh, we are accelerating growing the revenue process. So, so, so they think about inflation, they tend to move away from Texas because they think of Texas laundering, in which you're not going to get paid well in the future, and they instead rather own parts of the market that are more hardcore with nominal GDP. Where we're going right now is a reversion back to where we likely otherwise would have been had it not been for stupid Corona. Uh, but it doesn't change the long term structural story. All the shifts that are taking place inside of the AL, and those tech stocks are on the cutting edge of it, so they're bound for some type of volatility or some type of correction, particularly in inflation concerns increase. Well, the correction's already here because fucking NASDAQ and all the tech stocks, they just keep going down, right? Riot has gone from $77 all the way down to 28 and hasn't bottomed out yet. It's like, it's actually vastly more annoying and volatile than even Bitcoin itself. Actually, let's, let me see. Short interest riot. Oh, I actually saw the URL. Okay, it got placed to the top. What's the short interest on it right now? Latest market data yesterday, short volume. It's still 15%. Yeah. I mean, that problem is this is from yesterday. This doesn't update until after the market's closed today. Okay, so it's actually people actually dumping the stock, kind of. Uh, I want to get kicked off of my thing. Oh, yeah, so I started experimenting with just streaming and recording at the same time, because why not? I mean, I'm doing the same amount of work, and I get double the output. But I just don't have chat open, because I need to keep this video short, because i got to read a couple of articles, particularly this thing. I thought this was a usual, typical meme coin, but this is actually a real coin, Internet Computer. Uh, we're going to actually look into that. Uh, this is actually a real thing. Now, it's too expensive for me to buy, but this is actually a really good coin. This is actually very important. Now, it's very long, so I'm not going to read it, but basically, the guy who invented... Where is his name? Andreessen Hor... Oh, God. Horowitz. Here we go. Uh, I recognize this guy's name a lot. All right. Uh, founded by Mark Andreessen and Ben Horowitz. Right. Mark Andreessen co-wrote Bitcoin Core with Satoshi Nakamoto. Uh, and because I I hear this name a lot, Andreessen Horowitz. Andreessen invested both early stage startups and established growth companies. Yeah. So these guys, like the guys who invented Bitcoin and like one of the best venture capital companies in the world, A16Z. Huh. Uh, yeah, they made this token. But basically, uh, I already read it. I need to reread this again because it's got a lot of technical shit in here. But basically, uh, they got together a bunch of PhDs, cryptographers, and all these really smart high IQ people and invented basically the internet. But they're creating an internet for like the blockchain or something. <clears throat> and they, um, it's now decentralized essentially and they're going to try to make it more decentralized. It works just as fast as the, con the current internet. And I don't know, that's as far as I got because I don't actually understand... A lot of what I'm reading, and I've got computer programming on going on in my head, and I got the game design stuff in my head. But this, all I know is, I want this coin. The problem is, it's probably too late for me to buy it now. So let's say, what's the price right now? Can you see this? It's four hundred dollars, four hundred four dollars and sixty three cents. Let's say when Bitcoin hits a million or whatever, and everything hyperinflates right before the crash. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing hits like 10, 20K or something, considering considering what it actually does and who is actually making this stuff. <clears throat> and then after the subsequent crash and everything bottoms out, and everyone is, it's just like the dot-com boom and, boom and then subsequent crash. I would definitely want to buy this coin when everything crashes because this is definitely something that I want to own uh, long term. Because right, can you imagine we could actually buy like shares of stock of the actual internet back in 2000? Like you technically couldn't do that. You have to pick a company. Here, I think you can because this is the actual token that. Again, I I have to read this whole thing again. I already read it once and like I got like half of it at best, but it, it definitely sounds like that. So uh, and then they also had some other articles at the bottom. Like, I actually want to look at these last three, because I already know what these two are. Uh, but Web 3.0, what is that? What is yield farming? I want to see if there's anything I can do with that. Okay. Great, I actually clicked the wrong stupid thing. Uh, and then, what is crypto lending? Which is basically DeFi, and that's you just earn your interest. But I still want to read it just in case there might be something. But yeah, I definitely want to check out Internet Computer. All right, let's go back to here. 
Now I got a frog in my throat. <clears throat> this week, investors are also set to receive the latest monthly CPI. That's the ind uh, price consumer index and producer price index from the Bureau of Labor Statistics which are each expected to reflect a strong jump in prices over the last year's pandemic depressed levels. Right. So this is what's spooking everybody. <clears throat> the sustainability of these inflationary trends will ultimately guide the Federal Reserve's monetary policy decision to determine where they will... Yeah. So here's the problem. The Federal Reserve is in a bind. They know inflation is hyperinflating. They're causing it. But they really don't want to raise interest rates. So they're, they're, they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Because the correct move is to actually increase interest rates and fuck up stocks and probably crypto even more. Uh, otherwise, you're, otherwise, you're going to let hyperinflation continue, essentially. In fact, I think Nick, uh, yeah, he actually, oh, this is a new thing. Oh, he's actually been, uh, <coughs> Ruby, what the hell? Oh, the guy just, uh. The ADL has registered their stupid trademark, too. Uh, uh, yeah, it's been four months of Joe Biden. Now gas prices have not only gone up, but now there isn't even any gas. Yeah. Which is technically good for us because we want high oil prices. <clears throat> but it's bad for the consumer. But I don't drive, so I don't, I don't even know how to drive. Oh yeah, and oil is going way higher. At least one hundred twenty dollars a barrel. After that, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we'll, what the situation is at that point. And of course, it's going to take some months, obviously, to reach one twenty a barrel. <clears throat> okay, how does the Fed respond to all this inflationary pressure? Yeah, so everyone's just basically pricing in that the Fed's going to raise interest rates, uh, but they kind of already said repeatedly they don't want to do that. So, like Gregory Manorio said, they're going to blame high inflation on a high price of oil. I mean, I mean, well, I guess we'll see what happens. I mean, there was that so-called cyber attack on the pipeline. Uh, didn't do much. <laughs> didn't do much. It's actually back down to 32 cents after going up and then down. Yeah, so there's just a lot of fear and noise, and it's so frustrating. It's so irritating, but again... I'm seeing all sorts of weird distortions, right? Again, dollar is down, SPIP is down. So, like, people are not thinking logically, which is annoying because that means Riot is on its way down to, like, 20 bucks. And even then, I don't even know. But at, that, at this point, it actually is starting to look very attractive to start buying Riot calls, which, of course, will be a very risky note yeah this thing is so oversold like there's no reason why this thing should be tanking even bitcoin it hasn't been selling off like that it, it, it's so it's so irritating and i can't even say the g word i, I fucking hate the censorship so much all right yeah i mean coinbase is taking a hit micro strategies a hit uh where's mara uh i'll cut mara here um, Mara is down 12%. Oh, yeah, even Mara is getting hit. I'm just curious, what's Costco at? Because that's a value stock, and everyone's keep talking about going into... Yeah, even this thing is fucking down. Uh, yeah. But either way, when this is all over, I'm definitely just going to go straight into spider calls and just do one year plus, or approximately one year plus. And I'm just going to forget about this whole thing. We're still going to keep track of the stocks, but... Uh, it, it, it's just too annoying dealing with this, dealing with this, uh, this market distortion extreme, like the more that something gets regulated, the less money that you're going to make and the more risky it actually becomes. That's why regulation is just retarded. All right. And that's why, you know, when the regulators eventually come for cryptocurrencies, you're not going to be able to make big amounts of money. All right. They had, see, because there's no regulation, Dogcoin was able to go from like a fraction of a penny to like 50 cents. Right, and I bought this dumb shit, I think it was last week, for $0.64 cents a pop, which, which is irritating, but I know Dogcoin's going to go straight up anyway. Like, look how resilient it's been during this current uh, little short-term mini-correction, I want to call it. 
So is V chain, even though V chain just cannot go beyond 21, 22, or 22, whatever. And I also bought Shiba coin. Like, okay, yeah, and just my luck, it decides to pull back. It's it's so annoying. Every time I buy, you should always just take my opposite position and then day trade like that, because like it always reverses. It's it's so aggravating, or or it reverses after like a week. Uh, but anyway, I put this is a um copycat of dog coin but it's got the same rabid cult like uh fervor as dog coin so the uh, this is a pure speculative gamble and the only way like here uh i don't know how do i describe it um i lost my train of thought but basically um people who feel like they missed out on dog coin are going to just pile into shiba and apparently the guy who founded Ethereum, Vitalin Buterik, owns like five, like literally, five, what is this? 500 trillion Shiba coins, because this is actually operates as a token on the Ethereum blockchain. So that's actually pretty good too. So, um, you know, there is a problem. There's already like 394.79 trillion with a T coins in circulation. So if this thing goes up by 10 X, this puts the market cap at 123 billion, which shoots it all the way up to above Binance coin and above Dog coin. So uh, it, it's going to have a problem. But on the other hand, the potential value that you can like essentially quick money off of Shiba, eh, it's too, it's too. The risk is very low for the potential high reward, but expect this thing to like definitely temper your expectations, in Shiba. Now, there's a lot of places you can get. The problem is they all ban Americans, so you're going to need a VPN uh, to get it. Um, I probably, actually, because I'm posting this video, I probably, for legal reasons, I probably don't want to tell you how to get around it because, you know, I don't want to get into trouble. But I put in, like, I think after I had to make the changes, I put in, like, $491. Actually, I tweeted about it yesterday. Yeah, I oh, okay. Well, it was worth 498 at the time and I have 14.813 million Shiba coins. And that's all I'm going to put into it. That's it. Cuz right now I'm actually sick and tired of buying shit. Everything's going on sale. It's like everything's always been on sale. Can it stop going on sale so I can resell it later? Cuz I actually could use some money right now. All right? Cuz I'm looking at Filecoin. I kind of want to just sell some of that for some spending cash. Uh, but you know that's that's not how it works so all right so basically uh crypto is just getting hit the same way that markets are getting hit right now we're just gonna have to just wait this out it's gonna be another shit week just like last week was looking pretty good and then now it's just like it's like no, no, none of these idiots know how to go up uh go up in value all right so anyway, everyone's selling off their dollar. This is what this is what I'm also looking at. Not only is our bonds, medium and long term debt, selling off like crazy. Well, I don't know if I should call this crazy, but uh, it's selling off a, 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 a an okay amount, so nothing too crazy. That's probably the better thing. But the dollar, because everything is being settled in dollars, the dollar is down. The S pip, the inflation protection. Why can't this stupid thing? S pip is down, which means why why, why are people selling inflation protected stuff? Right? Don't you think inflation is going up? It clearly is, so that's what people are afraid of. So there's a lot of contradictions here. Uh oh, there here, here are some other kinds of tips. Yeah, because one of the things I want to look at is if inflation is really going up like crazy. I would actually prefer a S. I would actually prefer to buy S pip over the S and P five hundred, because at least I know. Yeah, because because again, as you can see, people have oh, this pays dividends too. Huh. Um. Yeah, because when people are afraid and emotional, like today, like right now, like it, it is, it's just it just goes all over the place. You know, I kind of want some stability. Yeah, I wouldn't buy calls on S pip. You only get like a few, like six months at best. That's nothing. So yeah, I rather just actually buy the stupid thing. So I don't know. All right, so I covered bonds. I covered the unholy trinity. Crude oil is back up to twenty one cents. What? 
Okay, so it's actually Yahoo not required. So it's actually, okay, so it's actually spiking out of control and then crashing. So there's a lot of volatile in crude oil. Uh, yikes. Yeah, she really does look a little off. All right, cover bonds. Um, all right. How long have I been doing this? 20 minutes. Yeah, this video is already like getting pretty long. So, all right. So Riot's still a sell. Three months is like, like effing Riot. Like this fucking retarded stock. I mean, oh, great. This is so annoying. I have to log in in order to get all the things, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, this isn't right. Okay, so this thing is, yeah, so Riot is actually extremely volatile, because even this thing's not keeping up with Riot. So it's down, so, yeah, I can actually tell that a lot of people are trying to tank Riot, and it keeps going back up to 28. That's actually a good sign. Uh, but, I don't know. Would I still buy something now? Maybe, if you got a little spare cash to spare, but there's just too much bullshit going on, so. But if it crashes to like 20 bucks... Uh, hopefully Bank of America and Exxon Mobil are up a lot higher at that point, and then I would actually consider selling that and going into Riot. But, I mean, on the other hand, it might be, be a little too risky. So I like to just see something, because, again, this is what all Riot's doing. It's just, it's just going straight fucking down. Even Bitcoin doesn't do that anymore. Or at least when it tries to go down, and even if it does somehow succeed, it immediately bounces back. So it's like, alright, whatever. Alright, let's click one last look at this and I'll end the video. Uh, 55.8, so Bitcoin's already recovering. Ethereum is already back up to basically four grand. Dogcoin, yeah, but yeah, so everything's stabilizing here. Cardano is very stable. XRP getting hammered, but I don't care about XRP. Litecoin's stabilizing. Yeah, so crypto's like stabilizing right now, so that's good. That's very good. A lot of sell off. Yeah, because again, we see the contradictions in the market. Inflation tips down, dollar down. It's like, all right, whatever. All right, so I'm going to see all of you next week um, or after the markets close later. Uh, I got a lot of work to do. I got to do more programming. Um, later tonight, I'll probably do the game design course. I just got a lot going on, but it would be a lot easier if today was just a nice, steady game day, but... Uh, oh, look at that. CL Guff. Oh, I'm glad I didn't put too much into this, but I also just bought the stock. So, you know, whatever. It goes down. If it goes down to a penny, well, first I have to check to make sure they're not going bankrupt. But if, if actually, I should probably check that. But yeah, if it actually crashes to like 20 cents, I'm going to buy up so much of this effing stock. In fact, I would probably actually buy this stock instead of going in a riot. Um, oh, yeah, I'm looking at the news. 21 days. Uh, Cloud9 adds eBay managing director and we pay career CEO as strategic advisors. All right, I like it. So they're actually hiring people. All right, perfect. Fundamentals check out. So yeah, see old guff. I mean, you, you would probably be okay buying this, but I mean, if Rod's going to go down and tech stocks are going to go down, see old guff will likely continue to go down too. So uh, see old guff. All right. Yeah, the RSI looks pretty good on it, too. But yeah, look at that. Down and down. Up a little bit. Down. Um, okay. Yeah, so they don't even have the buy-sell technical indicator on CLGuff here yet. Actually, I don't think they can because it's an over-the-counter. It trades in Toronto. So that's why you have to pay a big fee. All right, I've yeah, ra rambled enough. I'll see you next week or after the markets close later today, and I'll you know do my thing. All right, thanks everyone, and um, yeah, well, today is shit, but yeah, everything's on sale. Unfortunately for me, I already bought enough. I don't want anything on sale anymore, but oh well, that's why you got to keep your day job.